Hey guys, what's good? Power Up Boxing. What did I say would happen? Manny Pacquiao, he gets the victory. Uh, <clears throat> I did think he was going to get the TKO, but I, I feel like he, though he didn't get it, my prediction was Manny Pacquiao by TKO. I thought the ref would stop it. I thought his combination punches and his footwork would put Broner into a defensive shell on the ropes. And the ref would stop it. And uh, though he didn't get it, I really feel like he actually did try to get the KO this time. He said he did, was going to try to get it. He kind of put it like that. Obviously, he said if the KO comes, it comes. I don't predict the fights. But there was some interviews where he did say he was going to go for the KO. And Freddie said he was going to go for it. And he, he actually did look like he was going to go. He looked like he tried to go for the KO. But when you got a guy like Broner... <clears throat> just fighting so defensively, it's hard to KO a guy that's all defense. Just because the whole fight, he's just defensive minded. He's not trying to like win the rounds. He's just trying to survive in a sense. So when you got a guy like that, just <clears throat> all defense and he's not letting his hands go. And he's not, because uh, when you let your hands go, you open up yourself to getting hit more, obviously. <clears throat> so when you're playing all defense, it's it's hard to get a guy out of there when he's all defense and he's got skills too. Because Broner is talented; he has skills. Because if he was just a if he was just a garbage fighter playing all defense, Manny would have got him out of there. So anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I thought it, I thought it was a good fight. It could have been a better fight though. Because of Broner. I think Broner... Um, like Broner... He didn't go for it. He didn't cash out and just let his hands go and be aggressive. And if you get knocked out, you get knocked out. He didn't really try that. And I know like... I think after round 8, he should have started selling out. And he should have just started throwing his hands and stopped, stopped with the countering. Because the countering worked... A couple of times, but very far in between. He landed a good uppercut, a good hook, a couple good right hands. But even his right hands didn't have that much pop on them, to be honest. The best punches he landed were like, was that uppercut and hook at the end of one of the rounds. But uh, like, I think maybe the body punching took something out of his punches too. Uh, definitely, <clears throat> Broner definitely gassed out a bit you could say he was the more tired fighter at the end of the fight as the rounds went on i think it was the investment in the body punching manny pacquiao th this was one of manny pacquiao's best performances for going to the body in a while i think uh he was really going to the body with the straight lefts and uh i guess that was the game plan and, and freddie roach did say that manny pacquiao followed the game plan perfectly the only thing they didn't get was the ko but <clears throat> he tried to go for it and but when you got a guy running like that he's it, freddie said the game plan was perfect the only thing we were missing was the ko because but w i was satisfied because when you made a guy run like that and especially like by the end of the 12th by the end of the fight he was running full and full running pretty much so <clears throat> when you make a guy I, he said he Pretty much, Freddie Roach said he's never seen Broner run like that, and Manny Pacquiao made him run. So that was just as good, almost just as good as a KO win. But he did tr he did go for it. He hurt him two times. But when you got a, a Broner that's in survival mode, kind of, and he's not really winning rounds, but he's just all defense. He's countering, but he's not starting any of his own offense. He's waiting on you for your attack, and then he'll... when. His only, <clears throat> sorry guys, it's 4, 4.44 a.m. here and I'm pretty tired. I just had to make a video before I uh, went to bed here. But when you got a guy like um, like Broner and he's just like, he's not implementing his own offense really. Like he's just countering. That's all he's doing. So say if Manny throws a punch and he lands on Broner or if Manny throws a punch and then Manny knows that a counter's coming, so he'll get out of the way. And that's what happened a lot of time. Manny was 
slipping and dodging a lot of Broner's counters. So Broner was barely landing anything. On top of that, Broner is not throwing any punches really that aren't counters. Like he did throw some, he was throwing jabs. That was pretty much his whole offense was jabs. Like, I mean, I mean his own offense. When I mean a counter, I mean he's waiting for Manny to throw punches, then he would throw punches. So that's a counter. But his own offense, I mean, he's he's being first. So he's going to Manny and he's throwing the punch before Manny throws a punch. He wasn't really doing that. He didn't have his own offense. And we're used to seeing this. And besides the jab, that was his only own offense. And everything else was counters. And he did learn land some good counters, but... Um, it was unanimous decision win for Pacquiao, and I did. I was going for the. I thought it was going to be a TKO, but it was a unanimous decision. That'd be my second guess, obviously. But we know Broner has a decent chin. Not only does he have a decent chin, but when you got a, he has skills. But the number one thing is when you when you're in a hundred percent defensive mode, it's hard to knock out someone. To be honest, so he has a decent chin on chin on top of that. He's full defensive mode, so it's hard to knock a guy out like that. Because I really think if Broner let his hands go, he would have got uh, stopped. But um, it went to decision. I didn't know what the judges were watching, to be honest, because I thought it was pretty much a shutout. I don't know why the judges hate Manny Pacquiao's style. It happens every time. Like Two of the judges had it 116-112. I don't know how you would have it like that. 117-111 is decent, but... Uh, yeah, like, is 116-112, is that, does that mean Broner won four rounds or something? I don't know the math right now, but if, if that's so, then that's crazy. I, I gave Broner two rounds, probably, but other than that, it was pretty, you could say it was a shutout, because even the rounds he won, they weren't dominant, but I think he did win maybe two rounds, um, uh, so... But it was pretty much a shutout by Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, the combinations were that was there. The, he started off aggressive. He was like running in, lunging, like jumping in kind of with, with combination punches. And he was very anxious and excited, it looked like. Um, <clears throat> so he started off a little, was like, oh, I don't, I, I was kind of thinking I'm a Manny Pacquiao fan. So obviously I want him to win. And I was, I was like, oh, he's starting aggressive, like. And he was like, the way he was being aggressive, though, he was like hopping in. I was like, oh, I was worried he might get countered. and But he didn't really get countered, to be honest, um, doing that. And he, he, Manny Pacquiao tightened up his defense. Like, his defense was good during the whole fight, to be honest. His defense, he was slipping, dodging all Broner's shots and countering Broner's counter shots. So. And Broner even said that Manny Pacquiao's a very good counter puncher in the press conference. So, yeah, definitely underrated skill of Manny Pacquiao. He's becoming more of a counter puncher than he's ever been since he's older. He uh, relies more on uh, less volume and more counter punching and skill and experience. But the footwork was still there. Um, more, I would say he mo was more... Um, footwork was good. Uh, obviously, Broner was on the back foot and he's Manny's the aggressor. So Manny's not really having to um, use lateral movement as much. Like, I mean, like, he'll throw combos and then step to the side. He would usually do that against guys that are coming towards him. But Manny was pretty much just walking him down with his footwork. Um, but his combinations and his body punching were probably the highlights of Manny Pacquiao's great performance here. It was the combo punching and the body punching. One of the one of the best body punching performances by Manny Pacquiao I've seen, especially in recent fights. Um, <clears throat> and I guess because he knew it was harder to hit Broner um, on the head unless you got him to the ropes. Then he could split his guard with the hooks and stuff. Um, but working the body very well. I was, I was disappointed in Broner, though, to be honest. I thought it could have been a, way, a better fight if he went for it and tried to win the fight but it seems like like i don't know i i've heard a lot of people were talking when i was watching the fight <clears throat> when i watched it with the people i was watching with so there are a lot of them were um my friends and stuff were talk talking right 
so uh, I missed a lot of the commentary in the corner, but I'd have to rewatch it to see what they're telling him because um, <clears throat> I feel like uh, by like round like set like eight or something around there, like halfway through the fight, you think they would tell them what you're doing is not working, the countering is not working, you're not racking enough, enough racking up enough points. You need to do something different. You need to be more aggressive and start first and throw punches. You be first. But I don't know if they did tell him that. He just wasn't listening. I know I got to go back and hear the commentary. But I don't know. Like uh, he wasn't changing it up really. Maybe there was one or two rounds where he did change it up. I think there was one round where Broner came out aggressive and started. Like he came out very aggressive with Manny Pacquiao. Landed some shots but. Other than that, he was pretty much just doing the same thing. In the 12th round, he just pretty much was running away. And I just feel like if he let his hands go, we would have got a better fight. And I was disappointed in that sense. It, um, <clears throat> but Manny Pacquiao put on a good, great performance. Uh, definitely, I would say, an A performance. Especially for 40 years old, definitely an A performance. Um, he... Pretty much took Broner to school. And, um, yeah, I just, uh, it would have been better if uh, Broner just went for it. Went for the knockout, because that's what he needed. But he didn't, and uh, he stayed defensive. So, what's next for Broner? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he thought he won the fight, to be honest. That was really, I, I lost respect for him when he was, when he started getting aggressive, like, not only did he say he lost, he won the fight, but he got aggressive, and he was like yelling and being very on, very not very classy at all. It would have been more better if he was like, "Oh, I got to go back and watch the fight. I thought I won," but he was just being very aggressive and not very classy about it. I lost respect from there. I, I guess at the press conference he was more calm, so he gained a little respect back for me, for me, but. Definitely, um, hopefully he learns from this and uh, he tries harder, right? And he changes up his, his game plans and style a bit. And he doesn't really need to change up his countering style. He just needs to, he needs to be first throwing punches and not just counters, but he needs to be 50% counters, 50% his own offense. And maybe we can uh, get something out of, Bronner can uh, excel at uh, again, right? But I think the way he said that he won the fight and the way he hopped on the ropes at the end of the 12th round, like he, like he was like, yeah, I won. Like, you know, when they, the fighter will jump on the ropes after they won the fight. He did that, and it just looked like he was in denial, though. Especially the interview. He looked like he was in the denial. Just his, his body language and the way he was sounding. He looked like... He was trying to convince himself that he won the fight. Like he knows he didn't. And then the interviews after the fight and the press, the post-conference, it it carried, <clears throat> it carried over. Like, um, it looked like he was trying to convince himself that he won and he was just in denial. And I, maybe he really did try his best in training camp and he had a really good training camp and it still didn't work out. So he's just very... Um, down right now and so it's like a mechanism confidence mechanism in his head he's trying to help hold his head up high um, and trying to convince himself no I won this fight but you know he's maybe he knows he didn't I don't know I'm not as in his head I'm just speculating but maybe he's just very he's kind of heartbroken because he put in everything in this game if he actually did put in everything like he says he did and I think I maybe I do believe him because at the end of the fight and at the post conference he said he really did train really hard for this and he's he he just wants to go back in the gym right away when they asked him what's next for him he says I want to go I'll I'll fight again tomorrow I'll fight any of the top welterweights I'll be a champ again <clears throat> very soon very very soon and I just want to get back in the gym tomorrow he says no crazy parties for me tonight. So if he's serious and he's what he's saying is true, then he is on the right path. But he needs to let his hands go. He needs to be first in fights. Because if he continues to just fight off counters, 
it's he he won't be able to compete at the top level at 147 unless he can go back to 135 140 he can win like that but not at this weight division so anyway guys great performance by manny pacquiao great body punching great victory he's 40 years old and what uh would a win he retains his wba welterweight title that he won from uh, lucas matisse and um We'll see who's next, right? We'll see you next. I'll make more videos to see who I want him to face him next, who I think he'll face next. Broner, um, he, was, he was on Classy at the post-fight interviews. <clears throat> A little bit more Classy at the, at the post-conference, though, the press conference after the fight. He was a little more Classy. Congratulated Manny, but <clears throat> I just think... Uh, if he says what he says, he really did train hard and he pulled out all the stops and he wants to get him back in the gym tomorrow ASAP and get ready for the next fight. If that's truly what he means and he's hungry to do that, he is on the right track, but he needs to start throwing more punches in his fights. And that's the only thing he really needs to do. That's the only thing he needs to change. And I don't know if he's afraid to get countered or to get knocked out or something. That's why he's not throwing a lot of punches. I'm not sure what it is, but... Bottom line, that's the only thing Adrian Broner needs to change now is throwing more punches. Because if he does have the focus now, like he says, and he did, and he does want to get back in the gym right away, and the hunger and passion's there, he just needs to throw more punches. He can still counter. He just needs to throw more punches. So anyway, guys, it was a good fight. Could have been better if Broner let his hands go, but um, wish the best for both guys, Manny Paca and Adrian Broner. Um, to do uh, whatever they do uh, in life and in their next fight. Uh, and uh, stay powered up, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah, yeah. One more thing, actually, guys. Manny Pacquiao actually had a cold during this fight. And I kind of noticed it because before the fight, he was blown. Uh, he had his gloves on. And when he was in the ring, when they were making the fighters' announcements, like uh, introducing the fighters. One of Manny's people in his corner uh, put a cloth in front of his nose, his nose and he had to blow his nose. So I'm like, that's kind of weird. And then early in the fight, and I think once late in the fight, he was rubbing his nose a lot. And I was kind of, he didn't really get hit with any shots yet. So I'm like, I was like, oh, this doesn't look good. What's wrong with him? But he pulled through it. And we did find out at the post-conference that he did have a cold. Uh, he picked, he, it started, he started to get the cold right around the weigh-in time. He started to get a cold. So he pushed through it though, and he tried hard and he got the job done. So anyway, guys, power boxing, stay powered up and I'll see you in the next video.